Good morning! Monday, Monday, Monday. Here we are again. Holy gosh! I literally start every video in exactly the same way because it does roll around pretty quick. Hey, I hope you had an awesome weekend. Ours was chaos. I had a house full of kids, literally from Friday afternoon to Sunday night. Um, I don't know how it's happened, but somehow our house is like the mecca for the neighborhood kids at the moment. Hey Tamara, awesome to see you. Uh, we've got a um, big trampoline in our front um, garden and once you get one child on that trampoline, it just sends these imaginary little waves out and boom, there's like a hundred children in my front yard, which is good. It's awesome to see my little people hanging out with their friends, but it is also damn expensive because those little boys, they eat more than I have ever eaten in my life. I can't, I went through 24 cheese sticks on the weekend. How's that for a fast fact? <laughs> I went shopping on Thursday and bought two 12 packs of bigger stringers and boom, they're already gone. 24 cheese sticks, like that's bananas, right? Anyway, I didn't jump on this morning to talk to you about cheese sticks. Uh, I wanted to tell you about my week ahead and if you can't already tell I am up and about a little and just a teeny tiny little bit excited because it is Tony Robbins week. Ah. Yes, this week I am off to Sydney uh, for four days and I'm going to see the great man himself. Now. I've told a billion people, probably every person that I know that I'm going to Tony Robbins this week, and the reactions have been in one of two camps. Some people, actually three, I should say. Some people are equally as excited as I am. Oh my God, that's going to be awesome. How amazing. Oh, tell me all about it. The second camp are, ooh, part of the cult. You're going to join the cult. Ooh, watch out. And the other half basically say, oh, which band is he in again? Never heard of Tony Robbins. So it's been quite an interesting uh, exercise within itself to talk to people about the week ahead that I have. Um, I'm dragging my poor partner along who has promised me that he's not going to walk in with his arms crossed, as sceptical as sceptics can be. He's going to open his mind, get out, you get out what you put in. So we are going uh, to spend four days with the great man himself, which is going to be bananas. Uh, and the reason why I'm telling you all this is because it leads oh so perfectly into what I wanted to talk about today, and that is a bucket list. Now, I say bucket list and people tend to go, oh, boring, snoring. However, I do think it's really important to have a bucket list. Now, the word bucket list is a little bit negative. It's all the things that you want to achieve in your life before you kick the bucket or before you cark it at the other end. And I had a bucket list for, I've probably been building on it because it's obviously never finished because there's always things that I'm adding to it. Um, but I've had one for, I've been doing it really well for the last three years and I reckon I had one for probably two or three years before that, which was just a brain dump of all the things I wanted to achieve when I grow up in my life. Obviously, well and truly an adult at that point in time, but still waiting for when I become, you know, not Peter Pan. Um, but the first couple of years, I just had this list on my computer and I wasn't doing anything about it. I didn't have an action plan in place. I wasn't actually working towards any of those goals. They were just like, oh, you know, one day I'll go and live in Italy and one day I will do this. However, I wasn't getting any, hey Claire, nice to see you. I wasn't getting any closer to actually bringing any of them to fruition or living any of those dreams. So I did some research, I chatted to some different people about how, what they were doing and it's probably, I guess it's just a more fun way, more fun, terrible English. Hey Kristen, awesome to see you, happy Monday. It's a really, really, a bucket list is a really good way to plan out where you want to go and what you want to do and it's meant to be fun. So this is not only about your business, it is about you and I do tend to harp on a little bit about prioritizing you and putting yourself first. And a bucket list is an awesome way of doing it. I need to come up with a better way, a better word than bucket list. But I wanted to talk you through what I do and how it is working for me. Because 
it really is. And I really, <coughs> excuse me, really feel this year that I'm doing some big ticket items that I've always wanted to do, that I've actually taken action, I've put a plan in place, and I'm now achieving them, which not only fills me with pride and self-accomplishment, but I am freaking excited that some of this stuff is coming to life and that I'm actually going to be able to cross it off my list because we all know there is a great sense of satisfaction right there. So at the start of every year, and yes, it is September now, so it, it'll be goal setting time, like the start of the calendar year is whew, just around the corner. So I sit down and I brain dump all the things that I want to do in the coming year. Now, that is everything from lose 20 kilos, tick, that's been a big one for me and a big one that has been on the list for a little while and I put it off and I put it off and I was like, I'll finish having children and then boom, I did it, but I put the plan in place to do it because I had mapped out what that bucket list for the coming year looked like. So I sit down and I write 100 things that I'm going to achieve in the coming year. Yes, 100, which sounds ridiculous but you would be amazed at how quickly that list comes together. Now, these are not necessarily the go and live in Italy, fly to the moon, um, you know, lose 20 kilos. Like, you're not going to do that every single year. It might just be things, it, it's all going to be anchored in how you want to live your life. So, some of the things that are on my list this year were about going to the movies every single month which sounds heaps, I know, but there's only 12 months in the year, so we just needed to, we wanted to go and see 12 movies this year. And we have, like we've actually overachieved that goal, yay for us. Um, and there was a couple of holiday locations that we wanted to go on. We wanted to take a few extra long weekends. Um, there's a handful of people who we absolutely adore, who we do not see enough of. We literally put them on the list. I know that sounds bananas, but it was literally see more of X, Y, and Z. And that became scheduling in three dates throughout the year where we went and saw them and they don't live in Melbourne and all the rest of it. So it's not as easy as just popping over. But they became part of our action plan. And that really is what a bucket list is all about. It's about taking action. Boom, here we go again. I'm talking to you about setting goals and taking action. However, these goals are not business goals. They're not about your children. They're not about painting the house. Well, it probably could be about painting the house, but they're not about enrolling your son into karate and putting your daughter in gymnastics and whatever. These are goals that you want to achieve for you. And the main reason why we do this is to give you direction. You know, where do you want to take your life? Where do you want to be going? It, we cannot wait for, oh, one day I want to go and have a holiday in Greece. We need to start putting those plans in place now because, as we all know, Life is accelerating and getting away from us. So once that routine kicks in, the focus is um, the focus is really important. So you've got clear direction and clear focus, which will naturally give you a clear purpose so that you're living the life that you want to live. Yes, Kristen, personal goals are like uh, it's significantly more important than business goals. Um, and if we're not prioritizing self and putting ourselves first, you know, ahead of the rest, you do get really quickly bogged down in that day-to-day, -day, the routine takes over, and we all know that routine is the killer of all things fun, basically, <laughs> although I do love routine. So when you just sit down, I want you to sit, you can even start doing it now, just even if it's just once a week for the next six weeks, write down 10 things, 10 of those big things that you want to do in the next 12 months. It might be going to the movies more often. It might be going to restaurant A, B and C and literally writing out that you want to go to, you know, Attica, which is Australia's number one restaurant, or you want to go to the pancake parlor with the kids once a month or whatever it might be. What are those goals that you want to achieve or you and your family want to achieve? You can absolutely do that as a family exercise. Um, just as a side note, we've done a similar thing with our holiday list. We've sat down with our eldest now, who's nearly seven, and talked to him about, you know, we're trying to teach him about the big wide world and all the different countries out there. And he's starting to have an opinion on where he wants to go and what he wants to do, or what he wants to see around the world. Of course, being seven, it's Star Wars world in the US and Disneyland and the Eiffel Tower, but you know, how amazing for him to already start be starting to think about setting some goals and we now talk to him about money and how we're going to save money to get there. 
So the second part, once you've got that big long list of things that you do want to achieve, it's about putting an action plan in place. And again, that doesn't need to be you know, a 27 page document. It's just literally planning out some of those practicalities. So a lot of these things are big ticket items and they're gonna cost you money. So maybe you need to open a bank account now and start putting, you know, I'm gonna siphoning off money, but that's stealing from yourself, but putting money into that bank account so that you do have that little slush fund, I guess, that you can draw from. Uh, it might be about managing what's going to happen with your kids if you and your partner are going away, which is what we're doing this week. So Tony and I are off um, and TD and I haven't been off on a holiday or a break together for, I can't remember how long. Um, so we have had to manage and micromanage our household so that our kids are happy, safe, feeling secure and obviously cared for because they're teeny tiny. Um, but that takes planning and we've been talking about how that was going to work and, you know, teeing up child minding and all the rest of it for a while now. So there are some of those practicalities that you want to map out. So you've got your list of 100 and you can start looking at that action plan. So it's kind of mapping out of those 100, when are they going to take place? And the big ticket items will be easier to manage. If it's holidays or um, movies or whatever it might be, you can map out these school holidays will do this, a movie on the first Sunday of every month, whatever it might be. Um, and what, you know, if you've got some fancy pants restaurants that you want to go to, you might do one for your birthday and one for your partner's birthday and boom, you've got an action plan in place and you are actually starting to achieve some of these things. So you will feel more confident and excited and motivated about your life and what you've got going on so that you're in the driver's seat and you're not stuck in a rut, routine, Nazi, you know, boring, boring, boring. You are really driving that car where you want it to go. And that direction and that motivation is a, you will be amazed at how good that makes you feel. So first things first, I want you to sit down and if a hundred scares the pants off, you don't do a hundred, just start with 25, 25 of those things that you want to achieve in the coming year, break them down. What do you want to do in quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and then start to put some of those practicalities in place. And it might be about buying tickets or um, you know, childcare, child minding, or it might be about budget. And for us, it was absolutely about budget. We do have going to live in Italy on our list, which is ridiculous, uh, but it's something that I've always wanted to do. And if I don't, if we don't, well, I don't, we don't start planning for that now, we're not gonna do it for another five, six years when the kids are a bit older. But if we don't start planning for that now, it'll never happen. And we will literally be 75 going, oh, I remember we wanted to do that with our little children. Now little children have their own little children. So taking action and being proactive and putting some of those things in place. So this week, I want you to have a think about what's on your horizon, what you're most looking forward to, and what some of those things are that you want to tick off. And having something um, in the not too distant future to look forward to is oh so important. I can't stress enough how important that is to firmly plant a light at the end of the tunnel. And this time of the year, particularly if you're in Melbourne, <laughs> it's uh, critical to have something at the end of that dark winter tunnel. Uh, we're going hol in holidays in September. I had Tony Robbins next this week. So I had some of those really exciting things on my bucket list that I was actively working towards to get me through June, July and August. The other part of Tony Robbins, which is the bananas part, is that I'm going to do a fire walk, which I actually don't know how I first came across even knowing what a fire walk was or how I got um, onto the bandwagon. But uh, yeah, literally going to take my shoes off and walk on hot coals on Thursday night. So as you tuck yourselves into bed on Thursday night, it apparently happens somewhere between 9 and 11 o'clock, uh, you can think of me taking my shoes off, taking a big deep breath and walking across, I don't know, billion degrees hot coals. Like, there's got to be something wrong with me, right? But all of that is anchored in the power of the mind and I know, Claire, holy crap, like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I hope you've got uh, more crazy or less crazy things on your bucket lists. Um, but... I reckon at the end of it, I'm going to be crying because of the sense of the like, it, makes me want to, it almost makes me want to cry now, but the sense of achievement and the power of the mind. So Tony, is, Tony Robbins is all about power of the mind. So parking all of those fears, clearing out all the crap, all that self-talk that you have with yourself that limits 
the things that you can achieve in life. Um, and his way of demonstrating that to you is by getting your mind into, in a position where you can proactively take those steps, baby steps forward, over freaking hot coals. So as you get into bed on Thursday night, think of me because that's what I'm going to be doing. And hopefully uh, on Friday morning, I can still walk. Like that's, that's just where it's going to get to, I guess. So this week, sit down, 25. Let's start with 25. I want you to map out 25 things that you want to achieve in the coming 12 months. And if you are feeling super brave, email them to me because I can help you put that action plan in place and I will keep you accountable, because, which is all part of the plan, or all part of the process. I know, Tamara, even just seeing that little fire emoji, I'm like, it's going to be hot. So send me an email. Just literally dump your 25 things in. I'm not going to judge you and I'm not going to laugh at you. I will share 20 of my 25 of my things back to you if you like. Uh, the other crazy thing that I'm doing in November with a girlfriend who has a bucket list just like mine is we are doing some pole dancing classes together. Like, what is this saying about myself? In the next few months, I am walking on hot coals and I'm going to do pole dancing. Have you seen my body? I am not well equipped to be a pole dancer, but she's got pole dancing classes on her list and she doesn't want to go alone. So I've said, hells yeah, why not? And we're going to do some pole dancing classes together. And that's the kind of fun stuff that you can... I know, I'm laughing as well. That's the kind of fun stuff that you can build into your bucket list. Whether it be weight loss, holidays, restaurants, fun hobbies or activities, seeing more of certain people, whatever it might be, um, you know, it's they're the sort of fun things that you want to look back on your year and go, oh, that was the year that I lost 20 kilos, or that was the year that I went and walked on hot coals, or that was the year that I took pole dancing classes. And if nothing else, next time you're at a really awkward networking event and you've got nothing to talk about and you're feeling like a loser, you can tell people about your hot coals or you can tell people about your pole dancing. And I hope that I bump into all of you at networking events and we get to talk about pole dancing and hot coals together because... It just makes us better people and it just makes life more interesting and more fun if we are live video for that activity. <laughs> Hell no, girlfriend. You go and do pole dancing and learn what it's all about because I will not be filming myself doing that. I'm not even, I might, I might do you a little Insta story of what the pole looks like, but there will be no action of Emily anywhere near that pole. Um, but this is the fun stuff and even this little conversation here, you know, like this is the sort of things, all those things that you've ever wanted to do. It might be a cooking class. You want to learn how to make gelati. You might, you want to learn French, whatever it might be. Now is the time to start putting those plans in place, setting some of those personal goals and making shit happen. Like get out there and do it. So send me a list of 25 things. I know who you are and I know who's watching. So I'll share 20 of my, 20 of my things back. And we can have a laugh at each other about how ridiculous some of the things on our lists are. But let's have some fun with it. Life's meant to be lived. And these are the things that we want to be doing to live that life. So, uh, yes, big thank you to my very understanding clients who I have bumped this week, or well, the end of the week, to go and see Tony Robbins and to walk on hot coals. Oh, golly. Um Yeah, I'm, I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am. Um, Jody. Uh, Bruce Clark did a whole, she's a confidence coach, she did a whole series of uh, Facebook Lives last year each time she came out of the Tony Robbins session and she absolutely motivated me to book my ticket and I did book those tickets 12 months ago when I watched her series. So I can't promise that I won't walk out of those sessions as a mess and get on and go, oh my God, it was so amazing. Look at my feet. They're not burnt. I don't have blisters. Oh, and these are all the reasons why I've had such a brilliant day. There's a good chance I'll be gushing. I'll be very sleep deprived. Uh, it's an extremely intense couple of days. And everybody you speak to who has seen Tony Robbins can't quite put into words why it's so good. So uh, I'm hoping that I'll be totally different and really eloquent and have all the perfect words to describe it to you guys so that you can see what I've been experiencing. But uh, keep your eye on my stories and maybe the odd Facebook Live here and there because there's a really good chance that I will be gushing uh, with excitement, uh, motivation and new tips and tricks for all of us. So wish me luck. Hopefully next week I'm not on crutches or in a wheelchair. 
seven bedrooms last time. Um, but I hope you have an awesome week. Don't be afraid to send me your list of 25 things. I would love to see what's on your list. Your list might inspire my list and vice versa. So let's share some of those awesome ideas. Uh, actually, you know what would be even better is if you commented below in this live feed three things that are on your list. Yep, I'll start. I'll jump off this uh, and I'll jot in three things that are on my list for the coming year and put on your big girl pants and comment back and tell me what a couple of things are that are on your list because why not? Like some of the things that I've got might make you laugh, nothing else, and be motivate you. You might want to do something similar. And if you want to do pole dancing, you know where to find me because I am already booked in and shitting my pants about that one. I think I'm probably more scared about that than I am walking on hot coals. Like, what's wrong? Anyway, have an awesome week, guys. I will be in touch. I will be a sleep-deprived, blubbering mess, but I cannot wait to share the goodness that I have ahead of me. Uh, hopefully, I get some very funny photos of our time in Sydney as well. So, watch out. Comment below, I want to see three things that are on your bucket list. Don't be shy. No one's going to judge. It's a safe environment. Uh, just a bit of fun because life is meant to be lived. So let's start having some fun. Have an awesome week. Chat soon.